All right, here we are. We made it to Audubon Speedway. So we're gonna go in. We found out that you can actually get GoPros on your helmet. So we'll be able to show you us racing and zipping around. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, we'll see you in there. So it appears we're the only ones here, which would be kind of cool. So we did end up being the only ones here. This is a look at the lobby. Nice big sized lobby on the other side of glasses where the actual track is. It was kind of a smaller track, uh, has really only one kind of straightaway, um, but this is where the go-karts were and we are off to the races. Starts off very, very slow. They limit how much you power, ha power you have until you go through the checker point and then make one slow lap. This is where I was checking out the brakes and they are extremely sensitive. I got passed twice by this guy here. He's one of the employees. Um, he ended up passing me twice and then it will switch over to Kaylee's first race. So the employee passed me three times during the first race and I feel like it's slightly shady that they let their employee race with you because the race ends when the first person gets to the checkered line. So I only got to race nine laps. And he does this all the time. Like, I, I should have been able to race all my laps. But I guess maybe they don't want you lollygagging around the track. Um, the first go was pretty slow compared to the second one. And this is the start of our second race. As you can see, I am going way, way faster, um, especially through that little somewhat straightaway section there. Um, I do three videos of this just so I show you how much faster I was going. Got really good turns in there. But the third shot, which is right here, I'm gonna show you the entire track. That way you can see just how long it is. I think this was my 21 second lap, so it went pretty quick. And it landed him in the 99.4 percentile of all the people who have raced there. Yeah, so that was pretty neat and pretty cool. But this is the end of the race right there. This is Kaylee. That was her first drift. So me, even though I sped up, ended up in the bottom 0.09%, which sounds like my car, I guess, shouldn't even have been moving at that rate. but. Um, I sped up a lot and had a lot more fun, drifted around some corners, and, and got used to tons of squealing. Alright, so we're all done now, we just finished. So we went in a little early, so I guess the whole thing really took us about 40 minutes to get checked in, uh, do the safety video, and then two races. Um, but. It was a pretty quick date, which is great, but I mean, I kind of like these weekday dates because went to work all day, came home, don't have electricity, but still put the date first, went out and had some fun, and we'll worry about the shit at home later. Yep. So. Yeah, we had fun. I think my fastest time was, I can't even see. Uh, 21.727. Yep, 21.727 was my fastest time, and I was only like less than a second behind the guy that uh works there so yeah less than a second so that's pretty cool uh, um my fastest was 22 seconds so for some reason my shaky hand must have hit the uh record button so kaylee's fastest time was 22.994 seconds i race for last in anything with cars mario kart go karts I am last. You would never know that I'm the asshole when I'm actually driving a car. <laughs> yeah, and I'm competitive, so the first time I think the guy lapped me twice, almost three times, and I was like, oh hell no, you're not going to lap me once. So after I was comfortable and we started our second race, I was like, I know what I'm doing this time, so I hauled ass. Yeah, he only passed me once the second time and three times the first time. I had no hard feelings. Man, I didn't want to bust into a wall. I'm a rule follower. I didn't want any flags telling me I just busted into a wall and get some penalties. So 
I never used the brake the first race, and then I learned how to like peel out the second one and just keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. Uh, Audubon was a, I'd say it was a good experience overall. Yeah, I mean, it's a flat track and there's not much to it, but I mean, for a first go, I thought it was great. Yeah, uh, I would highly recommend. We also decided, since this was such a short date, we're gonna go and get one of Kaylee's favorite foods over at Cooper's Hawk. So you get to see a special restaurant as well. This appetizer is super delicious. It's a tuna uh, sashimi with a ponzu sauce. And then we got drinks. That's a pineapple teeny and a Manhattan, which was delicious. Then we got my favorite meal, uh, butternut squash gnocchi. And then we got our dessert, which was a very delicious s'mores graham cracker thing with a creme brulee top. And look at how stretchy this is. Mm. So it's been a few days since we went go-kart racing. Uh, we figured out why we didn't have electricity in our living room, so problem solved. Uh, but it is time for us to pick the next date. Date number three. Yes. All right, and it's... Kaylee's turn and her other arm is poodled. <laughs> so. Then we got Elsa creeping in the background over here. Yeah, all the doggies are in here. All right. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something we can do and hopefully something we can record. What we get? Sushi in a movie at home. Oh, great. Isn't that convenient? We just, we just had all you can all eat you sushi. sushi. <laughs> and it was like a maybe two star experience. It was awful. Yeah, it yeah. was not good. Um, I may make a review video of it, but honestly, after we got our appetizers and I tried the first bite of sushi, I was like, I'm not finishing recording this crap. This is not good. <laughs> but we got sushi in a movie at home. So guess that's our next date. Got to figure out where we're going to get sushi from, whether we go to our favorite sushi spot or try a different one. That hasn't worked out very well for us lately. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we'll see. I guess that's not going to be a super exciting video for you guys, but it's an exciting date for us. So we get to hang out with the dogs, eat yummy food, and watch a movie. Yay. Uh, if you're enjoying this content, make sure you subscribe, comment below, and if you have any movie ideas, oh, my camera's falling. If you have any movie ideas, comment below, let us know what you think we should watch. Or even more date ideas. Um, 71 is a lot, but we'll run out eventually, so we'll need more things to do. Yeah, we're already on date three. All right, catch you guys later this week. Next week. Next week. Bye.